how to download mods for Minecraft and then play them. We're gonna go through two different ways, which is CurseForge and Modern. This is CurseForge. You can download all the mods and such from here, or you can do it in their launcher, which is a lot easier method. I'm gonna show sure you the launcher method for both Modern and CurseForge. But if you want individual mods, you can download them directly from here. If you want to actually use their app, go to the Get CurseForge app, and then you'll be taken to this page. Once you get to this page, download CurseForge for Windows, or if you have Mac or Linux, there's the options right there. And I recommend to download it standalone, but you can also download it with Overwolf as well. If you download it with Overwolf, you basically just get like an extra program. All right, so this is a test profile. The way to make a test profile is to go to the main page, and then you go to create, you set yourself the name, the version, the game type, which would be obviously one of these four, not vanilla because vanilla is not for mods, and the mod loader version, which you should probably pick the latest. Once you have that created, you can go to add more content and then add the content directly to the mod pack. I already added in Waystones. And the benefits of adding it like this, by the way, is because it, Waystones has Balm as a library mod. And library mods are basically mods that require it to be in the mod pack with mods that uses its code. So Waystones uses Balm, and that is why you need to use both of these together in the same pack. So then you run this using play. Now let's take a look at Moderate. Moderate is very similar to where you can actually download them directly yourself, like so. Like just click on one of them and then download. Or you can go and download their launcher as well, which it also has Windows, Macs, Linux, and you can find both of the links to Modern and CurseForge in the description. And then this is the launcher. Basically, the way to create a new profile is to go to this plus icon right here to create new instance. And over here, you basically get the same settings as CurseForge, where you can change the icon name, loader, game version, etc. And then you can add in the mods by install content, and then you get to a list of content that you can install right over here. Just to show you that it works, we're going to test out Waystones. Okay, so I'm in the game, and as you can see, Waystones are in fact in it. I'm going to just test this out right here. I put one there, put one here. If you go to this, you teleport here. If you go to this, you teleport there. So Waystones does in fact work. And yeah, it's as simple as that to install mods for Minecraft. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, of course. Take care, and goodbye.